Katy Perry. Love her, loathe her, you can't ignore her. She is the number one Twitter user with more followers than anyone else. Almost 90 million people follow her every utterance. So if she gets hacked, that potentially could be a really big deal. And that is what has happened. At least for a short time, Katy Perry's Twitter account was compromised and someone was tweeting on her behalf. They tweeted messages to various celebrities, including Taylor Swift. Now, I don't know if you've been following all the tittle-tattle about Katy Perry and Taylor Swift and what's been going down over the years. They used to be big buddies. Now, not so much. Now we got problems. Some sort of fallout over a dancing shark. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong, but something went wrong. And so it's something of a surprise to see Katy Perry tweeting a message saying, Miss you, baby. Now, no real harm was done. The media loved to pick up on it. The tabloids were loving the story of Katy Perry's Twitter account being hacked. But where was the harm, really? The potential for harm was considerable. Because if Katy Perry's Twitter account has been compromised, then spammers could have exploited it. They could have posted messages pointing to spammy products or maybe even malicious links, which could have compromised users' computers and maybe stolen passwords from them. The potential to do harm was considerable. But because she's the number one Twitter account in the world, people were going to notice if she started tweeting unusual things. And Twitter themselves um, were able to step in within about 10 or 15 minutes, shut down the unauthorised access to the account and prevent any more nefarious tweets from being posted. But what can Katy Perry teach us about Twitter security? Well, what she teaches us is, first of all, you should have a password, which can't be easily guessed or cracked to make sure that that password isn't being used anywhere else. But more than that, if you have a Twitter account, turn on something called login verifications. It's a form of two-step verification, which means even if someone does manage to grab your Twitter username and password, they won't be able to log into your account unless they can also intercept the magic random number, the verification code, which is sent to your mobile phone or sent to your Twitter application, which you also have to enter when you try and log in from an unusual device. My advice is turn on two-step verification wherever you can, or even better, two-factor authentication if that's being offered as well. You can harden your account security and prevent hackers from easily breaking in and tweeting to Taylor Swift. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right. So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe. <laughs>